in the last stream chat, we finally built our first rocket from Galacticraft. We went to the moon. We got the uh, tier two rocket schematic, and we also got um, four of these partially filled fuel canisters. Now, I'm really hoping that we can combine these fuel canisters into filled fuel canisters. The whole point, of course, of getting those fuel canisters is that uh, we need to get the tier two rocket if we're going to go to Mars, and the tier two rocket requires two tier one boosters, which in turn require filled fluid canisters. So we only need two filled fluid canisters, and we do have enough uh, fuel for that. I'm hoping that what we can do here is if we grab, um, for example, a fluid transposer, I'm kind of hoping that we can pull the fuel out of the canisters like this. Oh, we totally can. Fantastic. And then from there, we should be able to then refill a canister wholly with fuel. Fantastic. Perfect. So that should make getting the uh, the boosters here nice and easy, Chet. There we go. That's two full fuel canisters. And then after that, I think we pretty much have everything it takes to make the tier two rocket. We do need a lot of this heavy duty plating, which does require yet more of the standard heavy duty plating at uh, this time with compressed meteoric iron, which you of course get from meteoric iron, which is of course made via the smelting of raw meteoric iron, which if you were watching the last episode, you'll know that we now have uh, quite a large amount of. And so I guess we'll go ahead and throw that into our old nuclear furnace, like so. And um, while that is smelting there, let's grab some more steel ingots. And by that, I mean, let's request some steel ingots. And uh, let's also get some bronze as well as uh, a bit more in the way of tin, so we can make some more of the uh, the basic heavy-duty plating. Because we are going to need yet more of that if we want to get into uh, the uh, the next tier of meteoric plating. And uh, while that is, you know, hammering itself away in the corner there, I think what I would also like to do, chat, is um, maybe teach our system how to make some of the higher tier of storage disks. All the way through the pack, we've kind of been very low on storage. Even now, we don't really have that much storage space. And um, I think that we have the resources now, if we wanted to, uh, to really go all out and maybe get like the highest tier of storage disk, which I think is a 16,348k storage disk. For reference, all of these disks that we have already combined give 37k. So getting up to 16,384k would be quite something. Uh, but, but really, I think it's just a case of, um, of teaching our system each one of these crafts on the way down, which I really don't think is going to be too difficult, right? You know, they already know how to make the advanced processes, so that's not going to be too difficult. I think we just have to teach it how to make all of the storage parts going all the way down past the 64K part, past the 16K part. I might have already taught my system how to make 4K or 1K parts. I'm actually not too sure. Uh, that's a duplicate right there, chat. Don't worry about it. But um, in reality, I think we should just be able to request this. Again, I will swap that silicon out. Actually, I think we already talked to that. So let me uh, head on over here and let's throw in all of these. And then see if we can't just request one of the largest storage disks. It might even be plausible, chat, that we can request multiple of the largest storage disks. Let me quickly check. Did I... Uh, yeah, I think I already did teach you how to make the 1K storage part. So if we type in 16... 384, can I request one of those? The uh, the system did feel, get like a little lag there for a second because it does take 12,909 silicon. My goodness. That is absolute madness. 13,000 quartz, 25,000 industrial hemp fiber. There's a lot of stuff here, chat, but if we hit start, I don't think it's going to take a crazy amount of time uh, to craft it. You'll see it is tanking through our nether quartz, but I mean, we do have a, a fairly large and fairly fast multi-block crafting cube and so hopefully it can uh, it can process through this quite fast you'll see it is pulling in um, all of the industrial hemp fiber and all of the clay and all of the quartz very very quickly here i think the hardest and longest part might be um i don't guess it's like maybe getting all the silicon and like smelting all the uh, the processes but either way while we wait for that to uh, to do its thing these guys sound like they are done i do not hear any more uh, kaplunking down here so we'll take those out and i guess we can also go ahead and start making uh, some of the old compressed meteoric iron Apparently, we cannot make those in uh, in batches of, uh, of two. Oh, no, we can. We just, uh, it's made differently. Okay, I see. That's fine. So I think that should be pretty much enough heavy-duty plating there. Um, if we're going to make this, we need 10 of the tier two plating. I don't think anything else requires it. So we actually only need 10 of these, which is 10 of you, as well as 10 of you. There we go. 
Um, but while that does its, its thing, let's come back over here and see if we don't have what it takes to make another nose cone. We do indeed, beautiful. We need four rocket fins, which again, doesn't seem too difficult. Two, three, and four. Oh, what are we missing? We're missing some, a uh, little bit of compressed steel. That is fine, Chet. Not a problem. There we go. So that is the nose and the rocket fins. We also need another engine, of course, which is going to require yet another unused flint and steel, which is perfectly fine and nice and easy for us to do there. Uh, we're also going to need at least one more vent, uh, as well as at least one more tin or copper container. We'll go with tin, uh, even though we actually potentially have more copper at this point in time. Either way, we have um, more than we need of either of those. There's the old engine. And um, I think at that point, the only thing left are the, uh, the boosters here, which again, shouldn't be too difficult. We need two more of these old vents, like so. We already have the fuel canisters from our uh, excessive trading with villagers. And uh, as luck would have it, we also have some yellow dye already in the system. And so boom, and boom, there we go. Two tier one boosters. And I think at that point, chat, we are pretty much good to go with the tier two rocket. We have all 10 of our heavy duty plating. We do not need eight more steel, so we can stop the, the clanking over there. So next and schematic, unlock schematic. There we go. So now we have the tier two rocket unlocked. We can put in our tier two heavy duty plating. We can put in our nose cone, our engine, our four fins, and our two tier one boosters. And Kapow chat, we have a tier two rocket. Nice. Now, um, we are currently still in space, by the way. If you uh, saw the last episode, you'll know that we are uh, currently on the moon, which is fine. I think you can get to Mars from the moon, so long as you have the... Uh, the launch pad. And of course, we can, uh, if we want, just actually equip our oxygen tank so we don't start uh, suffocating as soon as we leave our uh, our compact machine here. Now, I'm fairly certain that we did have our launch pads on us, but apparently I'm mistaken. I'm fairly certain we collected them out of the landing pod, right? Like they were in here and we did collect them. But I have no idea. Did I put it down? Oh, I did. Our rocket's over here. Okay. So I think, chat, all we have to do here is uh, replace the tier two one rocket, uh, the tier two, uh, the tier one rocket with the tier two rocket. And then if we fill this guy up with fuel, I think we're just good to go. I think we can launch directly to Mars. Now, I think I may have left my fuel loader back on Earth, but that is not a problem. We can go ahead and uh, make another fuel loader fairly easily. I don't think they're particularly difficult for us to make. Not at all. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, we do have uh, this little setup over here that should have been producing fuel uh, between streams. It has been, indeed, it is backing up on tar, but that's okay. We can take that out and uh, just throw that in the system for now. Our 16384K drive is still underway. And yeah, given that that still needs to get 12,000 plus silicon, that might even take, you know, a good chunk of the remainder of the stream. I guess we'll come back to that close to the end. Um, but for now, if we uh, go ahead and grab, I think, a reservoir, potentially. I'm just thinking of what we can put our fuel in. There we go. I think that should be enough. I it, I don't know if the uh, tier two rocket requires more fuel than the tier one rocket. I'm actually not sure at all. But if we do something like this, and uh, we put in our fuel like so, as soon as we provide that with power, we should be pretty much good to go. Um, unfortunately, none of our energy cells here actually have any energy in them, which is a little bit of a pain. But uh, really, all we have to do there is just grab one of them and uh, temporarily throw it down on the old uh, cryo-stabilized flux duct here, and that should very quickly fill up with uh, with 18 million redstone flux, which is more than enough for what we need to get this, uh, this rocket going here. So let's throw that down for now. Right about there. Make sure the uh, right side here is set to output. And, uh, and there we go. That should start filling this guy up with, with uh, fuel. Again, not too sure how much fuel we need. Hopefully, we have enough uh, in here to launch the rocket. But again, if we don't, it's not a problem. We can get more. All right, how's this doing? I think we might be there. It is. It's full. Nice. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, I think we have everything, chat. I think once again, we can grab our cube. It is a little bizarre that for now, all of our, all of our many hours of work were just floating on the ground there. All right. I will take the uh, the fuel loader this time as well. And we might as well take the uh, the old energy cell also. And I think, chat, at that point, we are once again good to go. So let's hop back in. Let's hit space. And here we go. We're going to launch off to Mars. 
And uh, once we get to Mars, I think it's pretty much the same deal again. We need to go and find uh, the dungeons on Mars. Apparently, Meteoric Iron is easier to find on Mars because I think we do need even more Meteoric Iron for the Tier 3 rocket. All right. So Mars is what we're after here. I assume I can't get to Venus. Yeah, no, you need a Tier 3 rocket. We could go... Oh, we can't go to an asteroid either. Okay. That's fine. Here we go. The red planet. That is Mars. I think, ooh, I might need... Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Ooh. Excuse me? I was holding... Excuse me? Okay. Landing balloons. Oh. We also got steel back. Interesting. I had no idea that was a, th that was a, th a thing. I thought I was going to have to slow down. That was my worry there. My worry was that I uh, had not slowed down on, on entry. But apparently we land in uh, in balloons. I was also temporarily, chat worried um, that we needed special armor to be on the moon. Like this uh, thermal padding here. Apparently that is seemingly not the case. It seems like we're doing just fine up here. So I guess once again, and the Earth is, uh, is real far away now. Um, there's also a lot more mobs out here than there were on the moon. But that's fine. Let's go and throw our base down. Of course, with the old wireless terminal. Like so. I will once again take a, uh, a screenshot of my coordinates so I know uh, where we are if we need to get back at some point. So I think, in general, this actually might be it. Here we go, chat. Right away, we have found the uh, the dungeon. Surprisingly close to, uh, to the base here. Our armor is not fantastic, but I think it should probably be good enough to get us through this, uh, this dungeon here. That's a free ender pearl, I won't say no. Uh, once again, I will grab some more of our poop. Both for uh, sustenance, but more importantly for uh, night vision. It is rather dark down here. And uh, we are going to have to do some dash mining on Mars here as well. So I will take all the dash I can get. Because we need the dash, I believe, for the next tier of rocket. Oh, we can make dash. That's very true. Once again, I don't actually think we have to fight these guys. <laughs> we can go uh, directly past them and kind of just make a beeline for the boss fight. Okay, I do see that we have invalid thermal protection. And so it would appear... I think with this guy, we have to fire back his TNT. The, uh, the invalid... Thermal protection might come back to haunt us. However, I'm hoping that for now at least, the uh, the lack of thermal protection doesn't become an issue. The, uh, the eggs around the room do explode into... Uh, excuse me, my friend. I would like to uh, hit this back at you. The eggs around the room do explode into small baby creepers, I believe. Let's uh, grab... No, hold on. I want to grab a, a Spingot before we die here. At least one. I'm hoping the Spingots will keep us alive. Even if the uh, the thermal protection that we have is, uh, is somewhat invalid. Just because they are so nutritionally dense. Hello, my friends. If you could, uh, if you could stop, that would be grand. I would like to fight your father, not you. You don't have to... You don't have to do this. <laughs> I also could do with another poop, actually. It's still quite dark in here, right? We had him, we had him locked in for a second there, and now I am, uh, I've lost control of the situation, chat.
You want to be lower down, and then as he shoots, you can rise up and, and hit the TNT back. If you're too high up, then uh, it's hard to get the TNT at him. I think the uh, the lack of thermal protection is uh, potentially going to get us here. I'm hoping that if nothing else, we can get the uh, schematic we're after before we die of thermal burning. It seems like the uh, the spingots here are going to help us in uh, in not dying to the atmosphere. Which is very nice indeed. Please shoot at me so I can shoot back at you. Perfect chat. We have done it. The evolved creeper boss has been killed. Perfect. Let's go grab that uh, that key. Beautiful. The little creepers are still are still on me. That's fine. All right. Automatic cargo rocket. It's not what we're after, chat. That is not what we're after. We're very much so after the tier three rocket schematic. So once again, we are going to have to fight another one of these dungeons. For now, let's eat a smingot, head back, and see if we can't. Uh, if we can't get some more thermal protection. So if we want to make the uh, the armor required to not die to the uh, to the elements here, chat, I believe that we need to get the uh, the thermal padding here, which is made with wool and redstone. Thankfully, it does not require any specific wool. It's just any old wool, I think. So I'm fairly certain that if we just request that a bunch of our hemp fiber uh, be turned into wool, that we should be able to fairly easily make all of this. We need 24 thermal cloth in total. Which uh, really shouldn't be too difficult, and then I believe at that point we should be able to uh, to not have to worry about the, the the environment killing us, and all we have to worry about at that point is the uh, the very large creeper killing us. And let's also clear out our inventory a little bit here. We've got so much stuff right now that we don't need to be carrying around with us, like the tier one rocket and the fuel loader, and the uh, automatic cargo rocket as well. All right, there we go. So now we have enough thermal cloth. Let's make the the helmet, the chest plate the boots and the leggings. And if I'm not mistaken, you don't have to replace your normal armor with this. I'm fairly certain that it goes in this slot here. So you kind of wear it uh, underneath your uh, your pre-existing getup, which is uh, nice, I guess. It means we don't have to lose. We don't have to sacrifice the uh, the quality of our armor so, just so we don't die to the environment. But uh, now, chat, we once again have to go and find another dungeon. If we're going to try and get that, uh, that schematic. All right. <laughs> Jeez, quality content, Isaac? I know, I know. Alas, I did not uh, design the boss fight. <laughs> Okie dokie. There is another tier two dungeon key. So hopefully this is a tier three rocket schematic. It is fantastic. All right, all right, all right. So let me check here. What do we need for a tier three rocket, the final tier of rocket for us here, chat. Let me bookmark it and unbookmark tier two. So we need a heavy duty nose cone, which is made up of heavy duty plating and redstone torch. The heavy duty nose cone is the tier two heavy duty plating with compressed dash. Dash, as people have pointed out, we can in fact make, and we should have um, hopefully a fairly decent amount of it. I guess we can go, we maybe should go and turn off our dash pickaxe making system so we can get some of that dash, uh, you know, without having to go and uh, go and mine it, but we can also mine it if we want to as well in the overworld. Um, we do need a some more fuel in the fuel canisters, um, which could prove interesting as we uh, we got our first set from uh, from villagers. I guess we could, if we wanted to, just go back to the moon and then go from the moon to Mars if we need to get more fuel from them. That shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, but for now, we need to head back and um, essentially get a bunch of dash. Don't forget to smelt the Mars stone. I will not. That is a fair point. Right away here, we should head down, smelt up this old uh, Mars stone here and complete the quest. Beautiful. That is this quest done. And so now, chat, there's only one quest left in the pack. The only quest that we have left to do is Venus, and we should be good to go. How is that drive coming? The drive is, it's getting there. We've still got 9,000 more silicon to go. Uh, that might have been a long, so uh, long shot. Chat, that disc might actually never get, uh, never get finished. Alas. 
Refill your oxygen tanks. That's also a um, a good idea. They're not super low, but uh, we'll refill the one that's uh, empty and then stick that one back there. So, tier three rocket. We need a lot of uh, a lot of stuff. Um, I do want to test something real quick, chat. And that thing that I want to test is if this fuel here can be used in the canisters and can be then used to make a thruster. Because if it can, that's going to make our lives a lot easier. It totally can. Beautiful. I'm assuming we can use that to make these uh, these boosters. What are we missing here? We're missing yellow wool and we're missing the uh, the vents. Perfect. All right, chat. Perfect. So we didn't need to do all that trading with the villagers. <laughs> <laughs> I was told that this fuel here, this refined fuel, wouldn't work, but apparently it does. So now we just need 10, 11, 12, 13, and then 16, so like 29, I think, heavy-duty plating. As well as, uh, I was going to say some compressed titanium, but I think we'll go with the uh, the other heavy-duty plating here to make those heavy rocket fins. So uh, we need a lot more meteoric iron. And again, I have been told that I can get that... Well, first things first, let me go and turn off my dash smelting system over here we are making dash and we have 64 actually actually we've got a ton of dash we don't have to worry about dash whatsoever we have it's banked up we have so much of it <laughs> beautiful so i'll take like a few snacks of, uh, of dash here and get those compressing away over here while they do that let's pop back out into uh into mars uh, also let's go ahead and teach our nasa workbench here how to make Tier three rockets. There we go. We can do that in a second. Let's go see if we can't find some more uh, some more meteoric iron. Chat. We've come far. We have managed to acquire many many pieces of meteoric iron. We need but two remaining pieces of meteoric iron in front of us is one meteor a meteor can either have one or two iron in it we only need two if fate is on our side we only have to break one if it's not we're gonna have to break two i'm hopeful but not optimistic Chat, we've done it. We've only gone and done it. Two pieces of meteoric iron. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, we've done it. <laughs> so, about 40 hours of meteoric iron mining later we now finally have everything it takes to make the remaining two heavy duty plates and i believe chat that at that point we also have everything it takes to make the tier three rocket we put in the 10 heavy duty plating like so we put in the nose cone the engine the four fins and the two tier one boosters chat. <laughs> we have done it. It has taken us an extraordinarily long time to get to this point. But we have done it. We're here. We do need a bit more fuel, but that's fine. We have our launch pads. Let's head on back out into uh, into space. For those watching on YouTube, uh, over here, whilst we were waiting for Meteos to spawn, we set up a little um, oxygen bubble distributor, which is uh, this guy right here. You can pump... Uh, from the oxygen collector, which is collecting oxygen from the, the leaves and the trees, round into a bubble distributor. And as long as both of those have power, uh, it produces a little bubble uh, within which you can uh, live without having to, to wear an oxygen tank. So uh, that's what this is here. But uh, let's put down our launch pad. There we go. People are pointing out that there is armor 
that we can make, much like with the uh, the Mars mission. Uh, there is, I believe, a Desh armor. Might be what we need. Oh, no, I believe it's actually the isothermal helmet that we need, which is Desh and uh, the thermal cloth. So uh, we did make quite a bit of thermal cloth before. I will request more wool just in case we need even more than what we have. But um, we should then be able to, uh, to craft up quite a bit of this. Yeah, we don't quite have enough there, but that's fine. We can make the first few pieces here. And uh, once all that wool is uh, is crafted, we should be able to make the uh, the rest of them. All right, there we go. That's the full set. We can swap out our Mars set for our isothermal Venus set. Let's uh, throw down the old uh, tier three rocket, the biggest so far. Let's uh, grab the old fuel loader, whack that guy down as well. Perfect. The energy cell we still have on us. Kapow. And then uh, if we go and grab some of that fuel again, chat, we should be good to head to Venus and finally complete the very last quest. Um, but some people have mentioned, uh, both in Twitch chat and in the YouTube comments, about the glitched adventures here. Um, there are only two glitched adventures, despite there being many uh, glitched machines. There are only adventures in the first two. The rest of them don't have any adventure in them. And um, we have we did the first glitched, uh, glitched adventure and did that just fine. We attempted the second one, but didn't complete it. And uh, it appears we can't redo it. Like it, the pack just doesn't let us, it doesn't work when we go in. So I don't think we're going to be able to complete this last quest. Like whenever we go into the uh, the glitched machine again, it just doesn't uh, like it doesn't let us complete and like do all of these uh, these crafts and whatnot. We can't interact with the world, so um, I think we're just gonna have to leave that as it is. But uh, as for the rocket, we can uh, obtain the fuel out of here, and then uh, go whack that of course over into our fuel loader. There we go. Once again, I think that's probably going to be enough fuel to actually get us where we need to go. And so I think here, chat, all we have to do is uh, probably go and pick up our compact machine. I'm going to eat some poop just to give us the uh, the old night vision. But let's uh, let's grab this. I will take all this as well. We do have enough oxygen, so we should be okay. Perfect. And uh, I think at that point, chat, we are pretty much good to go. We can launch off into space. I will, of course, grab these guys as well. No reason to leave them here on the moon, even though we might come back at some point. There we go. And here it is, chat, the last, or hopefully, the last launch. We're going to head off to Venus. We're going to mine some Venus rock. And that will be it. That will be the last quest of compact claustrophobia complete we started in a small three by three by three cube with just 27 blocks of space available to us and since then we've made our way out of that cube we've made infinitely more space and here we go the final frontier it's mars And by Mars, I mean Venus. Venus, launch. I don't know if this is going to be like, oh gosh, I was going to say, I don't know if it's going to be like the moon where we have to hold space to slow down, or if it's going to be like Mars where we can just safely land. Oh, it's getting uh, rather hot around the old, uh, the old capsule here. I also see quite a lot of lava on the ground. Oh, there's our parachute kicking in. Perfect. The arm bob's down, and I do hear, like, distant thunderstorms as well. But we'll just pop out of there. And, uh, I assume this is not what we're after. Um, Venus Hard Rock. Let me check the old, uh, the old quest book here real quick, chat. What is the, uh, the quest that I actually have to, uh, to complete? We need Venus Soft Rock, which I assume is underneath the Venus Hard Rock. It is, it's right there. Chat, we've done it. We have done it. We have completed all of the Galactic Craft quests. And I believe at that point, chat, we're pretty much, like, we've done all of the quests in the pack. Let's pop on back into this machine so we can ignore the cold hard, or the the hot hard uh, world that is, uh, that is Venus out there. And we can just live in this beautiful, cozy, compact machine that I've come to love 
At the start of the stream, we did set up, or we did start crafting a, um, a massive disc. Look at that, it is done. 16, 3, 84. Are you ready for this? So right now we have 37,000 uh, bytes worth of storage. Boom. 0% full. Now we have 16 million <laughs> bytes worth of storage in the system. That is insanity. My goodness. All right. With that uh, chat, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, basically wrap up compact claustrophobia there. I have uh, very much so enjoyed this pack. The end there was a little grindy. Not a huge fan of trying to find, you know, like 40 meteoric iron. That took a lot more time than I was uh, anticipating and was also a lot grindier than I would have liked. But the rest of the pack, I think, was uh, was very good. I thoroughly enjoyed this mod pack. Um, it's real nice. I love the automation. I love working through the uh, the quests and, uh, and getting all the new stuff. And, and having and working with the compact machines in general, I thought it was a really good time. And um, I'd love to play another pack like this in the future. I hope the uh, the pack creator maybe looks at making like a compact claustrophobia too. Potentially that could be uh, could be interesting. Um, but but for now, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and wrap up today's stream there. As always, if you enjoyed the stream and you want to see more in the future, you can go ahead and hit follow to get notified when I go live. I'll be back tomorrow with some more Q Tech. And I'll be back on Friday with maybe a new mod pack if we find something new to uh, to play in place of compact claustrophobia. Uh, but thank you very much indeed for uh, for sticking with me and uh, if you've watched all the way through and even if you haven't thanks for watching uh, the final episode of the series nonetheless as always thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time